Hi everyone, Simona here from Vector Twist. It's day 10 of our series 12 Days of Christmas, and today we're going to do something really simple. I would like to show you how you can reset the bounding box of a shape or object in Illustrator. Here on the artboard, we have a pair of mittens. When I select the shape, I have my bounding box on, and then I can easily rotate and move my shape around. But as you can see that the bounding box has been rotated as well. Now there might be once in a while a case where you would like to reset the bounding box, not to be in the same angle as the shape itself. This could be helpful if, for example, you have a guide that you drag onto your artboard and you would like to align your elements along this guide. Now if I rotate the other mitten, I really have to kind of go and eyeball it to align it to the guide. But if I reset the bounding box, I can align it much better and let me show you how to do this. So my shape is selected, then I go to Object, Transform, and all the way at the bottom here, it says Reset Bounding Box. Now if I reset it, you can see that I now have reset the bounding box to my shape. And in this case, I can align it much better to our guide. I will do this with the other mitten as well. So I select it, go back to Object, Transform, and then I'll reset the bounding box. And then I can align things much better. The same way, of course, goes with any shape. As you can see, I've rotated it. I'm going to set it to the back, but just in case I want to align it much better, I can go to Object, Transform, and Reset the Bounding Box. And this is it. If you liked this small tip, leave a comment below and remember to subscribe to my channel here. And at the same time, go and check out the blog over at VectorTwist.com. And I'll see you tomorrow for our next tip. So stay tuned. Thank you.